Music 90s grunge song for everyone in Flanders. Candy of the 90s has always had a special air about it. It wasn't always the most appealing, but they certainly made up for that with big taste. Well, for about two minutes anyway. For a blast from the past, let's check out the top 10 best candy of the 90s. What's up? <laughs> Commercials. No skipping those yet. Icebreakers. Allow me to break the ice. Being released in the middle of the 90s, these little mints made a huge splash with their flashy commercials and very intense taste. The invention of icebreakers was made to compete in the increasing fervor with all things minty and fresh that were dominating the market in the 90s. Mentos, the fresh maker. Though that shouldn't be confused with these being a passing trend. Though they were released in the 90s and had an explosion of popularity when first released, the brand has actually continued to increase in popularity over the years and can still be found basically everywhere nowadays. Hey, what about me? Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm Ice Cube Head. Another distinctive factor is that these come in plastic circular jars that are very unique. And that's one of the things people really enjoy about these candies. These circular tubs could be seen everywhere in the 90s. They were actually bought by and are now manufactured by the Hershey Company. Icebreakers have been steadily increasing in sales since Hershey took over, showing that the chocolate and candy kingpin really has the magic touch. So whether you remember these from the 90s or you know them as a modern mint staple, icebreakers were among the coolest candies to come from the 90s. Ring Pops Ring Pops are still a candy that many buy and love to this day. It's just a simple lollipop made by Tops, but it makes people feel so special. Who doesn't want a lollipop that A, you don't have to hold in your hands, and B, is in the shape of a giant diamond? Aren't diamonds a girl's best friend? Stupid rocks think they're so great. As good as Ring Pops are, they do have a nasty downside to them. They can get a little messy depending on how sloppy of a lollipop pop licker you are. I mean, seriously, some people actually ended up licking the back of their hand just as much as the pop. The company tried to make flavors that stood them apart from the other lollipop competitors. So they offered blue raspberry, twisted berry blast, cherry, watermelon, strawberry, and those are just the original flavors. Since then, the candy has not only thrived, but it has come out with a few other flavors and a specialty line of sour ring pops. These pops basically have the same flavors as the originals, but they are, you guessed it, sour. Which makes us wonder, who would want to suck on something so sour for so long? How are you doing, yo? The product line has expanded to include twisted flavors, mystery flavors, and even gummies. One ring to rule them all. Push Pop. Top's brand really does have an obsession with lollipops. In addition to creating the Ring Pop, the company also created its equally awkward to eat Push Pop. As the name indicates, this candy was pushed up and could retract back down if you wanted to save the rest for later. It was a low-tech yet genius invention for 1986. Great Scott! What other candy company was thinking of the poor souls who couldn't finish their lollipop in one sitting? When it was initially released, the candy had a single lollipop in it, and you could choose from the flavors Blue Raspberry, Strawberry, Watermelon, and Berry Blast. In case you couldn't tell, these are the exact same flavors as Ring Pops. So Tops basically rebranded their Ring Pop and sold it as a Push Pop. Now, fans of the candy can choose from several new flavors and different ways to consume their Push Pop. There are Push Pop sliders, which just look like a differently shaped Push Pop, the Triple Power Push Pop, and finally, there is the Jumbo Push Pop. This one is just a bigger size for people who can't get enough. The Push Pop options seem endless. Lifesavers Holes <laughs> oh. Candy that is supposed to resemble a real life-saving device became popular essentially overnight. Who would have thought that this candy, which really didn't have anything special about it, would be such a hit? 
And when something is a hit, you get your own spinoff, just like on TV. What is this, a crossover episode? You know, that gets funnier every time. Lifesavers holes were supposed to be the holes that were taken out of the middle of the lifesavers. They were chewy and way easier to eat. You didn't have to suck on them for a crazy amount of time before you could move on to another tasty piece. The candy came in a few flavors, including peppermint for the people who wanted to feel like they weren't eating candy but just enjoying an after-dinner mint. The other flavors included island fruits and their original fruit flavors. One of the fun things about this candy was the packaging. It came in a container that you could easily open and close, and it also resembled the cylinder-like shape that the original Lifesavers came in. It was fun to just pop the container open and closed. We can only assume that the Wrigley's company who are the makers of the candy, had an overabundance of extra candy they just couldn't let go to waste. Although this candy is no longer available, have no fear, as there are so many other tasty treats to enjoy, like Skittles. Ouch gum. That's gotta hurt! <laughs> what was with the 90s and turning medical items into candy? Not just any medical item, but Band-Aids. Kinda gross, no? Ouch bubble gum came complete with three different types of Band-Aids in one package. They all had their own color, neon orange, neon pink, and neon green. That is way too much neon! The gum was made by the Wrigley's company, and they kept the candy pretty simple with just three basic flavors, strawberry, watermelon, and grape. Each piece of gum was wrapped in a package designed to look just like a real Band-Aid package. The container that held those candy Band-Aids was a tin box, something resembling a very old Band-Aid first aid package. I hope you brought enough for everybody. <laughs> They are also really trying to emphasize that ouch gum is sugar-free. The taste of this gum isn't the greatest, and the flavor doesn't last long, but what can you expect from a novelty candy? Most people can now find these at nostalgic candy stores or from marketplace sellers on eBay or Amazon. That totally answers my question! Sweet Tarts. Sweet Tarts have come a very long way from that chalky, hard candy that we all used to buy as kids back in the day. The Nestle brand candy now offers multiple versions of Sweet Tarts, like fruit chews, sugar ropes, chewy Sweet Tarts, and other different flavors. However, when the candy debuted, they only offered the one candy. The pill-like tablet candy was a mix between sweet and tangy. The flavors available in each pack were cherry, grape, lemon, lime, and orange. Although so today, lime has been replaced by green apple, and the orange flavor was retired in 2013. That's it. I'm retired. In addition, Nestle added a new blue punch color and flavor to the bunch. We aren't sure what blue punch flavor means, but we can assure you it's likely sweet and tart. Mmm, it's tart but savory. Sweet tarts have become somewhat of a gimmick now, and Nestle is going along for the ride. They continue to release the popular candy and have also come up with bigger and flatter sweet tarts. They taste the same, only they're larger. They were clearly trying to target the fans of the candy who just can't get enough. The Sweet Tarts brand also makes Pixie Sticks, which are basically sweet tarts in powdered form delivered to the mouth via plastic tube. They also make giant chewy sweet tarts, sweet tart jelly beans, normally around Easter, and the adorable skull and bones sweet tarts around Halloween. 7 Up So Delicious. Oh, I get it. 7-Up So Delicious was a favorite fruit snack for many in the 90s. They were chewy, covered in sugar, and the flavors were so tasty. Red berry, lemon lime, and grape were delicious, and the package even bragged about being made with real 7-Up and real cherry 7-Up. This is probably why they tasted so darn good. These fruit snacks were made by Betty Crocker. This could be why the flavor always tasted more authentic than most candy snacks on the shelf. Seeing as they were so good, the company decided to try their luck at striking gold twice. They brought out a new line of so delicious fruit snacks featuring other sodas. The line featured orange, cherry cola, and root beer. They tasted just as great as the originals. And to top it off, they were shaped like little soda bottles, and the root beer ones were shaped like mugs of root beer with the froth on top. Not only was this snack clever, but it also had so much potential. The snack was unfortunately discontinued some time back, and people have been longing for them ever since. We're not allowed in the 2000s, and we have to stay back here in the 90s. 
At the time, they were some of the best snacks on the shelf. Candy blocks. I'm sure we've all been told not to play with our food at one point or another in our lives. Well, this is one exception to that rule. Candy blocks are essentially edible candy Lego blocks. Yes, they still connect together and can be used to build and assemble whatever Lego construction project you have in mind. I am a master builder! Then, when you are done, you can eat said creation. What a novel concept! They are sold in a few different formats, including large plastic jars, milk cartons, and small boxes. The packaging featured directions for how to build small things like a tree, car, or dog Hi, doggy. to get your creative juices flowing. The texture and flavor of candy blocks are something akin to that of sweet tarts. But who are we kidding? You did not buy these for the taste. You want to build things with your candy. And in that sense, these definitely deliver. Awesome! Candy blocks were very popular in the 90s, but are still available and popular to this day. Fun fact, if you can find these being sold in bulk, you can buy these by the pound, and they end up being cheaper than actual Legos, which, even though kids love to put in their mouths, you can't actually eat. This is obviously a cool idea that has stood the test of time, and with Lego continuing to be a very popular brand, we don't see the demand for the 90s classics that are candy candy blocks going away anytime soon either. Gummy Blue Sharks This has to be one of the most basic candies on this list. They were also easy to find, and the simple taste was appealing to everyone. These Aqua Blue Shark Babies actually featured two flavors in one. The Aqua Blue Gummy area was blue raspberry, and the white part was a sweet marshmallow. These used to be 99 cents a pack, which was more than a lot of other candy cost at the time, but they were considered to be one of the higher-end candies. Particularly the shark gummies, which I hadn't seen elsewhere. Though easy to find, they were not as readily found as, say, Skittles or Smarties. It seems like recently, gummy blue sharks have regained their popularity and are experiencing a resurgence in excitement. They are made by the Ferrera Candy Company and can even be found in five-pound bags on Amazon. That should last at least a couple of days. You're gonna need a bigger boat. We can only assume that this was the only flavor and color combination at the time because blue was the only color gummy shark in the 90s. But who says there can't be or aren't any other flavors? Now, in some places, usually bulk candy shops, you can find a few other colors. Red, which is cherry, green, which is green apple, and even yellow, which is, well, it's hard to make out the taste of that one. 90s kids fondly remember this candy, and when they are made by people who have been in the candy business for over 100 years, well, you kind of don't need anyone else's opinion. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Airheads. Now we have come to Airheads, the candy that eats like a taffy but could never really live up to the ever-popular Laffy Taffy. Many people even describe this candy as taffy-like. It was made in the mid-80s but didn't gain traction until the early 90s. Airheads are manufactured by a Dutch-Italian company but are only sold nationwide in America. What do you think of that, fellow 90s star Joey Lawrence? Meh. There are now well over 10 flavors of this candy, including the original flavor. There's cherry, orange, watermelon, blue raspberry, grape, and of course, white mystery. White mystery was obviously a mystery flavor and was colored white as to not give away what the flavor was. The flavor is different with every batch and is actually said to be the leftovers of the other flavors just mixed together to form a flavor that is, well, actually a mystery. And to many humans, a mystery is irresistible. Since then, the company has tried to keep up with the times and expanded their candy flavors, and they weren't shy about the combinations. They now have mango chili, which is an orange base with red dots. Another way out of the box flavor is maple, which is only available in Canada. Canada, you did it again. You even found a way to ruin this. Since the 90s, Airheads has continued to expand the line with new offerings. They now have Airhead Bites, a candy with a bit of a harder shell and a soft, chewy, tangy sweet inside. You can also get Airhead Gum and Airhead Extreme Sourfuls, all with the sweet and tangy taste that Airheads are known for.
When we met, you were an eclectic anarchist. How did you become the group's airhead? Tap on another one of our great videos, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell.